Ever tried connecting your Kali Linux to try hack me and hit a wall? Yeah, we have all been there. In this video, I'm gonna show you the frustrating issues you will have and exactly how to crash them. All right, let's be real for a second. Connecting Kali Linux to try hack me sound easy until you hit that crazy issues that leave you scratching your head. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, I am walking you through all the common problems from VPN issues to connection problems and showing you exactly how to solve them. Let's hack those problems away and just don't forget to say hi to my friend Anonymous. Guys, let me check. We are live. Guys, let's get started and solve that crazy issue that leave your that leave you scratching your head. So let's get started and open your Kali machine. So there you can browse to TryHackMe and log into your TryHackMe account. So once you log into TryHackMe account, so you can go and click on your profile picture and click on access. Once you click on access, so this page will be open. So here, click on refresh and then click on generate. So TryHackMe will generate a, config a new configuration file for your computer. So click generate, regenerate. And click download configuration file. So once you download the configuration file, so we go and open our terminal and we move to download. So we are on, a, on our download directory. So here, number one, you need to install OpenVPN. So how we can install it? You can install it using this command, apt, sorry, sudo apt install open vpn and click enter so once you install the open vpn we are good to go so ls to list the file so we have our configuration file dot ovpn file so we type sudo open open vpn in our configuration file then we click enter So once it's connected, so it's showing us that it's successfully connected. So we go back to our TryHackMe and click on refresh. So in here, it show connection connected. So how we, how we know that we are connected, we just go back to our terminal and then open a new terminal, zoom this. And here, how you know that you are connected to try hack me so you know that by checking your ip address you can check it using this command f config and click enter so here you can check that tunnel zero we just uh, try hack me just assign an ip address to our machine that is 10.9.1.2.27 so then just go back to your try hack me website and there click on learn Click on learn. We need to wait for a second. So here, click on search and search for, for example, your favorite course, for example, OWASP top 10. Wait for a second. So here you, uh, I will choose OWASP top 10 2021. And I recently finished the OWASP top 10 2021. So we'll go and number one, the first thing that when you open a course, start a course. So there every pupils forget about starting the machine. Everyone forget about starting the machine. 
So here, click on Start Machine. So we will wait for one minute. So once this machine has been started, so we can do our practical work. For example, you can go to broken access control and scroll down. You can go to broken access control, IDOR challenge and scroll down. And here you can see they provide us a link. So we will wait once this timeout has been done, so we will be able to open this machine. So we will wait for 23 seconds, we will wait for a minute, and then we are good to go. Once the machine started, so you can go and first check the IP address is that, is it pingable or not? So. Open your terminal, type ping, and paste the IP addresses, and click Enter. So now you can see that I, the IP is pingable. You can click Control C, and just go to, just go back to your TryHackMe, and here you can click on the link. Link. So you can see. HTTP colon double slash 10, 10, Click on this link. If it's not open, you can close this and open and copy. You can copy this or you can just copy the IP addresses there and open a new tab and paste the IP addresses that you copy and click enter. So now you will be able to access your target machine and do your practical work. So let's go and solve some, some and see some issues that you will face. The, the first issue is that when you download, let's clear this, when you download the OVA file, the OVPN file of the, from TryHackMe, so there, number one, you are connecting to it and it is not connecting. So number one thing is that, and start your command with sudo means you, you start your command with root privilege. It will not work, sometimes it will not work and on default users, you can start with root privilege so you'll be able to, so it will work. And sometimes uh, you start with root privilege but still it's not working, why? Let's go and check. So how we can check it? So we'll go and check the inside of the .ovpn file. So we'll type nano, Hamayun Hamda dot OVPN file and click enter. So in here we can see uh, it's it shows us the begin certificate. So we can see that here we have a certificate. So those times that you are not you are not be able to connect to try hack me. The reason is that you your OVPN file have no certificate. So one, if your OVPN file have no certificates, you, you can go and change the region and choose another one and click download and check and then check the OVPN file. If it has the certificate, so you will be able to go smoothly and you can run and connect to your TryHackMe account. But it, if it don't have any certificate, so you won't be able to connect to TryHackMe. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found this video useful and just don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. And if you face any kind of issues, some more, some more issues, so you can comment and I will respond as fast as I can. So have a great time. Bye bye. See you in the next video.